<laughs> my, my oral presentation today is about um, the Bill of Rights and what it means to me. The Bill of Rights, in my terms, is probably the most important document that was ever written, the most important American document ever written. It, uh, ensured, it, it, it was written in order to help not only ratify the Constitution of the different states, but it also um, it, uh, helps ensure certain rights, certain fundamental rights and freedoms of the people in the state. Uh, the Bill of Rights is the first ten amendments to the Constitution of the United States. When the Constitution was originally um, thought of and passed, it, it, it had some it had some holes in it that uh, it didn't the states really didn't go for. You know, I mean, it didn't have any freedom of speech. It didn't have what the ten amendments stand for. And so they added the ten amendments about ten years later, and it helped ratify the Constitution a little more with the state. Uh, without the Const without the Bill of Rights, there'd be uh, there'd be no there'd be no freedom of speech. There's you wouldn't be able to. There'd be a lot of censorship in newspapers. There'd be a, a lot of there'd be no really free elections. Um, there'd be a lot of illegal searches. You could, police could just search your home whenever they wanted to. It would be more of an unfair country that we live in instead of what we have now. Uh, it would be more of a communist nation or anything like that because in, a, in the Soviet Union they have the Bill of Rights. It's just like communism is totally against what the Bill of Rights stands for. The Bill of Rights consists of the first ten amendments to the Constitution. The first one is freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is the right to speak out, it's the right to uh, print what you want. In my terms, it's, um, it allows us to, it allows us to uh, do what we want to do to a certain extent. And some examples of that, of how the First Amendment is being tested today is with two live crew and how their censorship come from them and they have won that case. And also from the flag burning issue, as it, uh, hitting the people against the First Amendment, like. President Bush, they don't want the flag burned, and the people that do want the flag burned, or they don't want it burned, but they have an opinion that it should be burned or could. The Second Amendment is the right to bear arms and protect yourself. And that, that amendment, it really doesn't pertain to the present day as much as it did back in the Civil War days and stuff like that. But it's the right to carry, the right to carry a gun, the right to uh, protect yourself, and that, that's part of the uh, Ten Amendments. The third one is no soldier should be cornered in, in, a, in homes. Um, during peacetime. And that really doesn't pertain to the present day, as because when the Bill of Rights was written, it was written back in the, the Revolutionary War and the Civil War days. And that, that pertained back till then when the fighting actually happened in the United States. The fourth one is no unlawful searches or seizures. Now that, that is tested a lot today with the drug, the drug testing. Um, a lot of people they um, they test drug they testing for drugs. A lot of people said they shouldn't be able to like for athletes and being tested in the workplace. If they take drugs and cigarettes, they're, they're right, you know, but it, it gets a lot of people killed sometimes, and it really is a, an issue. The fifth one is people should be allowed to say what they, wait a minute. The fifth one is, oh, no, you won't have to, it's testifying. Um, you wouldn't have to testify, you wouldn't have to answer a question in a criminal case. A lot of people say, I plead to the fifth that time was during a criminal case because uh, they don't want to answer the question. Like, did you murder him? They go, I plead to the fifth, you know, because it might, it would maybe get them, uh, prosecuted or whatever. Okay, the sixth, uh, the sixth one is the right to a speedy trial, which is a pretty good right because you need it. I wouldn't want to be a criminal and be locked up in jail for 10 years waiting to get tried to, for a crime, and perhaps I didn't even commit the crime. The seventh one is trial by, you, get, you, can, you have a right to a trial by jury in common law cases where the offense, where the thing that is offensive is worth over $20. You're allowed to, um, you're allowed to, have you have the right to ask for a jury, and that's a good law because if, if you're just being judged by one person, there's a more chance of a mistake than being judged by an impartial 12-person 12 12 jury. The eighth one is excessive bail shall not be required. And in my terms, excessive bail shall not be required is, that's pretty good law for small cases because if I, if, let's say some guy, some, some country boy down the street, he, he uh, kicks over some kind of fence and it's illegal. He, he, uh, maybe he throws an egg at a house, some kid, and hits the ball, and he goes to small claims court and he goes, and they go, well, maybe he's 20, and they go, well, you can put him in jail, but he's, he's waiting for a trial, so we'll give him $10,000 bail. I mean, that's not right for the amount of crime, but I think it is right. I think excessive bail should be required when, it's, um, when it deals with larger cases, such as drug use and, uh, and murder, murder crimes, things like that. Then they, they should be put up in the million dollar about that. And the ninth one is rights retained by the people. And that's the people that have laws to try to keep the keep the power of the state and the government down, uh, keep them keep them a little more equal. The tenth one and the final one is uh, the reserved powers of the state, and that is to uh, 
keep peace in time of an emergency. Uh, there'd be, a, let's say, they have to call the National Guard. That's that's a reserve power of the state. Uh, it, it's important that 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 happens so that the state has a chance to override the government or in, in time of an emergency. The uh, the Bill of Rights overall is is probably is the most important document. It helps keep freedoms and rights. And if we didn't have it, the rights would just call this country the Soviet Union too.